What's up guys, Zach here and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the something went wrong fault with the Xbox One. Okay, so this problem has been quite an issue for a lot of people I've seen. Um, it's caused by what seems to be an update that comes in and it seems to just completely wreck your Xbox. As soon as you try to turn it on, it shows the Xbox screen for ages, nothing happens, and then suddenly it comes up with a screen that says something went wrong. You try and switch off it and you can't. It just keeps coming up and keeps coming up and keeps coming up. And obviously this is an issue because the night before my girlfriend and I were having a bit of Netflix and chill and then the next morning I go to turn it on and it doesn't work. However, I found out how you fix it and I'm going to show you guys now. Okay guys, so here is the Xbox. First thing we need to do is we need to press the bind button, which is the button here, and the eject button, and hold them together. Whilst doing this, you need to hold, press the power button, and you should hear a power on tone. And then, but you should continue to hold on to the other two buttons. And as you do so, in about 15 or 20 seconds, you should hear a second power noise. And what this does is it then opens the Xbox in a um, sort of recovery mode. And what you need to do then is just, you'd have to reset your Xbox, but you can opt to keep games and data. And then, yeah, you basically go through the setup again and your Xbox is fixed. So I'm going to talk you through it and just show you through it. Okay guys, so, it's the bind button and the eject button press and hold those and then with your little finger press the power button and that was the first little chime and then there's the second one and now the Xbox is going to boot in this special mode here apologies for the reflection but as you can see we have the option to reset the Xbox and this is what you want to click on I'm not going to do it on mine because I've already done it However, once you do this, you will then be taken to the system where you can reboot your Xbox as it was when it first came out of the factory, and that fixes it. So, I hope this helps you guys, because I know for ages I was trying to find a fix, and I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if it worked for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.